Here we are at the facilities page, and we can see that there are the three facilities. Uh, we have the ABC company, the XYZ company, the SDH company. We're going to be working now with the ABC company. The identifier is 99999. It is the uh, facility we will be using to demonstrate the detail emissions inventory report submittal. And we can see that over here under actions, we have a button when I mouse over it, uh, it brings up start and I'm going to click on this. This will begin the emissions inventory report for 2017. I clicked on it, it brings up the dashboard. We can see that there are a number of buttons on the dashboard. Facility, release points, control devices, emission units, unit processes, and then down uh, below that we see process emissions and report attachments. So we are going to click on the facility button and we are going to look at the information that is contained in here. We have the facility identifier, facility name, description, status, and the NAICS code. We also have contacts information, addresses, location, additional information. We're going to begin with the emissions inventory data now by working our way through these buttons. And we're going to start with the release points. And we'll be looking at them. And then we'll, we'll go to the control devices, the emission units, and the unit processes. Once we've completed all that, we will then go to the process emissions and, and the report attachments. So let's work first with the release points. I've clicked on the release points and you can see that it brings up the data that currently exists. And if you have an emissions inventory report, we have done our best to populate the data for your facility with uh, historic data that we have on record. This particular facility, however, is one that I created from scratch. So the first thing we're going to do is let's, let's go through each one of these release points and review them. I have a release point. The first one at the top is for a boiler stack. And as we open it up, you'll see that all the information is there. It's a vertical stack. I've named it the boiler stack. If I click down on the type, however, you'll see that there are options. There's a downward facing vent, fugitive, gooseneck, horizontal, vertical, and vertical with rain cap. The most common that we work with are vertical and horizontal. And then there are also fugitive release points, and we'll discuss that in a moment. This is a vertical stack. It's hooked to a boiler. I called it the boiler stack. It's operating. We have the stack height, and, and everything is measured in feet. It's circular. We have the stack diameter. It, one foot, temperature 180 degrees, and the flow rate is 12 cubic feet per second. The velocity is 15.27887 feet per second. If I was to change one of these, like let's say that I want to say that this is actually 18 cubic feet per second, and then I delete this, it will automatically calculate now a new velocity of 22.91831 feet per second. So depending on uh, whether you put in a, a new flow rate or a new velocity, it will calculate for you uh, the one that you don't enter. As we are looking at this boiler stack, you can see the tabs on the top. There's also location and additional information when listing release point information, it's very important uh, that we look at the location. As you can see, there's a little checkbox. Release point utilizes the facility coordinates. This means that we are using the facility coordinates of the UTMs uh, or the lat longs for this release point. If you desire to put in the exact lat long or UTM coordinates for your release point, 
uh, that option is available. If not, you can click on checkbox and it will use the facility coordinates. The additional information includes company stack description if you have additional descriptions or identifiers that you may want to list for the release point. The boiler, you can see it's hooked to a boiler right now down here at the bottom. We're going to get to that when we get to unit processes. We'll be able to show you how all these pieces come together, but we need to show you the release points first, then the controls, and then the emission units, and then it all comes together in the unit process. But I want to point out down here that this is where you can see this, this is the unit process uh, that this particular release point is hooked to. We have now updated this boiler stack with what we feel is better data. Uh, 18 cubic feet per second, automatically calculated our velocity. We're going to hit save. And now we have updated that particular release point. So as we look, we have another stack for a natural gas engine. That's number two right here. We also have another stack for a diesel fuel engine. We have a paint booth, another stack for a paint booth, much the same as we've seen. But now we're going to look at what is a fugitive release point. A fugitive release point. We are required to have a release point for every process. And in this case, it's unpaved roads. The dust from unpaved roads is a process where emissions are occurring. So we have to have a release point. But this is a fugitive release point, and that's why it's marked fugitive, and that's why there are no parameters such as stack height, diameter, flow, velocities, because it's just a fugitive release point. So for every one of our processes, we need a release point. This just happens to be a fugitive. And as you can see, we also have a fugitive release point for the piles and the crusher and then the non-road tailpipe and fuel tanks. We will now go on to the controls.